NASA's recent discovery of all the necessary elements for life on Saturn's moon Enceladus has opened up a whole new world of possibilities. This groundbreaking news confirms that Enceladus, the sixth largest moon of Saturn, could be a viable host for life. Scientists have speculated for years that the icy moon could hold extraterrestrial life, and now evidence has been found to support the possibility. NASA's Cassini spacecraft has detected molecular hydrogen in the plumes of water vapor spewed into space from the icy moon's subsurface ocean. This indicates the presence of hydrothermal activity, which is a critical factor for the formation of life. With this discovery, the search for life beyond Earth has taken a giant leap forward. In this video, we will explore the details of this discovery and what it means for the future of space exploration. A sneak peek at Enceladus Let's take an exhilarating glimpse at Enceladus before delving into the fascinating discovery. Why has this captivating moon piqued the interest of astrophysicists? Could Enceladus potentially become a home for life in the future? Enceladus, Saturn's icy ocean moon, is one of the most captivating worlds in our solar system. It sprays its ocean out into space, allowing scientists to sample its chemical ingredients, which are essential for life. Moreover, hydrothermal vents in its ocean spew out hot, mineral-rich water, making it a prime location for potential life. With a surface as white and reflective as Arizona, Enceladus creates a ring of its own, spreading its icy particles into space and circling Saturn to form the awe-inspiring E-ring. Enceladus is a moon orbiting Saturn between Mimas and Tethys. It is tidally locked with Saturn and completes one orbit every 32.9 hours. Enceladus is trapped in an orbital resonance with Dione, causing tidal heating within the moon. Did you know that Enceladus has gone through some significant resurfacing events in the recent past? It's fascinating that the South Polar region is almost entirely free of impact craters, but has house-sized ice boulders and unique tectonic patterns. NASA's Cassini spacecraft discovered that icy water particles and gas shoot out of the moon's surface at high speeds, creating a halo of fine dust around Enceladus. This dust supplies Saturn's E-ring and keeps Enceladus looking bright white. It's amazing to think about what else we might discover about this incredible moon in the future. Scientists have discovered that water jets come from warm fractures in the moon's crust orbiting Saturn. These fractures are informally known as tiger stripes. The plume contains several gases, salts, and silica, with the density of organic materials being 20 times denser than expected. Gravity measurements have shown that the jets are being supplied by a global ocean inside the moon, with an ice shell thought to be as thin as half a mile to three miles at the South Pole and about 12 to 16 miles in average global thickness. The E-ring around Saturn is mainly made of ice droplets. Still, it also contains nanograins of silica that can only be generated where liquid water and rock interact at high temperatures. This suggests the presence of hydrothermal vents beneath Enceladus's icy shell, similar to those found on Earth's ocean floor. Enceladus's global ocean, unique chemistry, and internal heat make it a promising candidate for supporting life. The discovery of phosphates on one of Saturn's moons raises the potential for the existence of life. It's incredible that life could thrive beneath the icy surface of Saturn's moon Enceladus. Recent evidence shows that phosphates have been discovered in the plumes of water ice that escape from the moon's south pole. Enceladus is just one of several ice worlds orbiting Jupiter and Saturn that could have oceans of liquid water under their thick layers of ice. Who knows what kind of alien life could be living there? In 2015, the Cassini spacecraft made a remarkable discovery during its 13-year orbit of Saturn. It found geysers erupting from cracks in the ice at Enceladus's south pole with water ice crystals and gas spewing out at 400 meters per second. Such a breathtaking sight! Phosphates are crucial for sustaining life on Earth. They play a vital role in DNA, cell membranes, energy production, and the development of bones and teeth. However, the presence of phosphates on Saturn's moon does not necessarily indicate the existence of life. 
Instead, it signifies the availability of a key ingredient for life that regulates the growth of algae and aquatic plants in Earth's oceans. Research indicates that the amount of phosphates in Enceladus's subsurface ocean is 100 times greater than in Earth's oceans. Upon examining the Cassini data, it was discovered that the plumes contain various chemicals, including silica, ammonia, carbon dioxide, and methane. These same substances can be found in hydrothermal vents in the depths of Earth's oceans. These vents are areas where water, heated by the Earth, interacts with and flows out of crevices in the ocean floor. It is fascinating to consider the similarities between these phenomena occurring on Earth and Saturn's moon Enceladus. In an environment of complete darkness and immense pressure, a diverse range of organisms thrive on the minerals in the water expelled from the vents. Among them are sizable filter feeders such as clams, crabs, and peculiar elongated white tube worms, which rely on abundant bacteria for sustenance. This self-contained ecosystem flourishes without needing sunlight, serving as a remarkable oasis of life in an uninhabitable environment. Enceladus has vents similar to those found on the bottom of the ocean floor, which contain the essential ingredients for life. However, it remains a mystery whether a similar evolution could occur, unless another mission is sent to Enceladus to explore what lies beneath the ice. While there are currently no plans for a future mission, the European Space Agency spacecraft JUICE, Jupiter's icy moons explorer, is currently en route to Jupiter to investigate its icy moons, including Ganymede, Callisto, and Europa, which may provide clues about Enceladus. Europa is believed to have an active water ocean with more water than all of the combined oceans on Earth. NASA will follow up next year with the Europa Clipper, which will orbit the moon and hunt for conditions conducive to life. The quest for extraterrestrial life sometimes concentrates on planets revolving around other stars that may resemble Earth. However, these discoveries imply that life may exist far closer to home within extremely unearth-like moons hiding secrets behind frozen ice sheets. The Return Trip to Enceladus Imagine if we could land on Enceladus, collect some material, and bring it back to Earth. How cool would that be? Unfortunately, it's currently beyond our technical capabilities. In fact, we have yet to attempt a sample return mission to Mars, which is much closer and easier to reach than Enceladus. But let's not lose hope. As technology advances, it is quite possible we will see this happen in the next 80 to 100 years. Sadly, the science geek won't be here to witness it, but future generations might experience this incredible feat. The recent confirmation by NASA that all life elements have been discovered on Saturn's moon Enceladus is a monumental discovery that will undoubtedly change the course of astrobiology research. This discovery further reinforces the idea that life may exist beyond our planet and opens up endless possibilities for exploration and discovery. With technological advancements in space exploration, it is exciting to consider what additional discoveries await us we may finally get answers to some of the most fundamental questions about the universe and our place in it. The discovery of life on Enceladus is just the beginning, and we can't wait to see what else is in store. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel as a sacrifice to the gods of the algorithm. Thanks for watching and see you next time.